I want to know why you haven't been paying the people that have are no longer able to work for a living. It's be peace ball. Yeah. I have six chemicals in my body that now I'm no longer able to work and to provide for my family. And I think it's wrong. Tell them. Can you hear me now? Yeah. And there's a lot of things I want to know. Also, this little check you're talking about. Well, I haven't worked in 12 months. They sent me $2,000. Quarterly is what it's supposed to be. Two thousand dollars won't see you live off two thousand dollars. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Any of them? Two thousand dollars in four months. How are you gonna live on that? And you're no longer able to work. There's people out there sick that can't get medical attention because the hospitals will turn them away after they spend so much money. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for our VA. If I wasn't a fault and served for this country, I wouldn't be sitting in this chair right now. There's people out there that need medical attention. They need help. And you don't great. Great. Yeah. Well, for the panel, I think the economic issues are, are being asked, but there have been health issues that have not been answered. So I think that uh, this is something that we need to begin looking at more closely, more carefully, is what is the health impact upon this community who is dependent upon the fish, the water, which is not contaminated. And this poor man is not alone with his health concerns. Um, you're absolutely right. I mean, for long-term impact health, impact environmental impact we're just not sure what that means right now which is why we are funding um, the long-term research I mean, in the beginning we did provide training to all of our workers who were working directly um, offshore we made sure that they were uh, properly fitted with um, they wasn't allowed to use that they wasn't allowed to use that they were not allowed to use it thank you started they would not allow they would find you if you had gloves on they would fire you if you had any kind of mask on because they said that was an intent. And this is well documented. This is a toxic life of chemical. That's the reason I'm in the shape I'm in. I got water in my boots. It contaminated and got sores on my legs. Therefore, all the chemicals that they were dispersing in the water plus the oil got into my skin, got into my blood system. That's why I'm sick today. We work, we work directly with OSHA and with the Coast Guard, and um, it, it showed that the level of toxicity, toxicity was very, very low. So, sir, I am... That is not true. That is not true. Stop insulting us by thinking that we're stupid. That's the problem. It's not going to help by everybody else. Please. Would y'all like to ride around in the chair and keep it ordered? There's people out there that are dying from this. Tell them. We're going to continue the long-term long -term research. We do encourage anyone who does feel like they have been impacted to seek out help from their medical physician. got corrected poisons and you knew that that was wrong. That message needs to be taken to the administration. The burden should not fall on these people economically and in terms of their health, safety and welfare. It's been going on too long. Everybody in this room knows it and it's time if you don't understand it to learn that. Whatever study or statistics you are relying on to make that statement, I think in all fairness, That's all I you need to really seriously Thank you, Well, I find it shocking that this man has only gotten two thousand dollars for his obviously critical medical condition, and I want an answer from the Gulf Coast Claims folks in terms of what's going on with health claims. And I'm a server, and they can't help sick people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. 
I was just saying because I wanted to be able to make a statement. How can they pay me thirty thousand dollars in a casino, which I'm grateful for because I did suffer a loss. But people like him are dying right now because nobody knows the doctors will handle it. The doctors don't They're not trained to handle it. You have to go to a toxicologist out of state, and can they afford to do that? No. This is his daily medication. This is what he takes every day. Show him, Jane. I think the point is, is that the health issue has not been addressed, and the health issue is a major uh, health or economic cost to the people that are impacted. So I think this is something that uh, uh, we, as government, as well as those at DP and the claims process, need to look at. Can you answer? Yes, with, with regards to, to the health claims, the GCCF has hired or engaged medical experts to help us evaluate the claims that have been submitted to the GCCF to try and determine linkage from the, the, the injury sustained and the oil spill. So we're, we're not just, there's no flat out denial of those. Those are being evaluated and, and we do have medical experts that we're consulting. 911 people got paid, Agent Orange people got paid. They didn't have to prove I, that I it was related. To they know what the correction does. They got 30 countries that they've made. With the monies they've received. I, I, I can't you speak to any of these I think that's true. I think as far as individual cases, it's going to be difficult to have today. But I think there's a case that needs to be looked into here locally.